High school was rough. High school was rough. Once I discovered the fandom, I could chat with people online. I could express my creativity. I could make friends. I think people join furry because the fandom focuses on understanding yourself and expressing it. It's not just about the animal characters, it's about the people. We've got writers, artists, animators, performers, musicians. It's like a party. Well, let me tell you a story. It was always about this thing. It was not about us. And if you asked who we were and could you point at us, they wouldn't know. We never wanted to be celebrities. We'd started an anime club in 1977, and it was the first anime club. But a lot of the people were also into animal characters. Rod and Mark are effectively the grandparents of the furry fandom. They are the ones who help put together the first furry parties. Mike, is this a little better? They are the ones that help put together the first furry convention in 1989. In the very beginning of the fandom, it was all about the art. Hi. They had the same revelation as I did. I'm not the only one. People started discovering that there was, in fact, an LGBT contingent in the furries. And it was positive. It was like a quest to find more people who liked the same thing we liked. It had a really good run, but then there was negative publicity about it. It was viewed as, what is this deviant thing? It's all about the sex. Unfortunately, that was the image that was now given, and this is what the world was seeing. You don't tell your family, you don't tell your work, you don't tell other people. Furry fandom has attracted every stripe of the political spectrum. We could all sit around and discuss Donald Duck, but if we got into whether or not there should be gay marriage allowed, there would be bottles being thrown. The pushback against adult content in furry is an attempt to push LGBT furs out of furry. For a lot of people, this community helped them discover what that means. How could you just try to say it doesn't exist? That's insane. When I transitioned, I actually started first in art. As I transitioned, so did my character, and it really helped me cope with it. I found my best friends in the fandom. I found my boyfriend through the fandom. We are not just here for fluffy fun. We're here to help each other, and we are helping each other. The fandom is something I'm the most proud of in my life. And I felt, I'm home. I'm finally home. <laughs>